Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Speed Paint. This week I'm continuing the Zodiac series and this episode is about our Pisces character. For those of you who don't know, I have a series here on YouTube where I personify Zodiac signs and give them stereotyped personalities based on said sign. If you haven't seen any of the past videos, they will be in both the iCard and the end card. Alrighty, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, let's talk about a couple basic traits assigned to Pisces. The color assigned to our Pisces is pale green, the date range for our Pisces is February 19th to March 20th, and lastly, the compatibility of a Pisces is a Virgo or a Taurus. Now let's move on to our special little Pisces. <laughs> our Pisces character is a boy named Parth. Since the color is a light green, I've decided to make Parth's hair a light green. Parth's birthday is going to be on March 3rd, and I think later down the line, Parth may end up dating Valerie, which is the Virgo sign, and this won't be until he's like 23, so it's way later. That being said, he is friends with both Val and Caroline, because really you can't have one of the girls without the other one tagging along. Another thing I was kind of talking about was having Parth have a special connection with Taryn, or our Tauros character. To explain better, I need to first discuss how Zodiacs came to this earth. So in this series, I pictured that characters I made are not the Zodiacs themselves, but they're the Zodiacs' kids. I would imagine these characters are kind of like how the demigods came to be. One parent is a celestial Zodiac being, and the other one is a mortal who roams the earth. However, sometimes the children are left with not the earthly family, for example, Arya. Arya was abandoned by her earthly father, who is angry at Arya's celestial mom for not telling him who she really was, and then for leaving. Arya was left in a field to be raised by a group of wild sheep, and Arya's mother would come visit her in the form of a ram to make sure her daughter was well. Okay, so I know that was super sidetracked, but in Parth's case, Parth's earthly father divorced his celestial mother, believing she was a witch for her bearing of a prodigy child like Parth. I'll explain more about the prodigy part later. He took Parth and remarried to a very cruel woman. The two of them raised Parth to be this perfect child who never stepped out of line due to fear. They forced Parth out of a normal childhood and made him practice all day and all night. He never went to school or out to play. He was forbidden to interact with all the other kids and they often made Parth perform for their own monetary gain and they collected so much money and revenue from his concerts that they climbed up to the top of the richest of the rich. Along the way, they meet the famous Taryn. So Taryn is a model for his own fashion company and it's an extremely high-end company in their world. Taryn meets this young boy, Parth, and he realizes this is no way for a child to live. And he eventually has Parth taken away from his family and allows Parth to live with him. And this slowly allows Parth to break from his shell and become this happy, kind boy he is today. Now that I've rambled on way too long, let's rein it back in and talk about some other traits. So Parth is 16 years old, and I purposely drew him to look a little older because I feel like his being overdressed taste comes from where he grew up. Some extra traits that didn't come from research, but I thought Parth would have due to Parth's past is the fact that he's so awkward around kids and his peers. He's accepting about almost anything and Parth does not really understand the social norms again due to his never meeting with other kids. Like, okay, so he knows how to be polite, but he's not really sure of how to react in social situations like teasing or joking around because he didn't really experience those things growing up. Now, moving on to more researched traits of a Pisces in general that I thought maybe Parth would also share is the likes of Parth seems to be he likes to be alone, he likes sleeping in, he likes to create or listen to music, he likes to swim, and just creativity in general. Dislikes includes know-it-alls, criticism, pasts coming back to haunt him, and any form of cruelty. Some strengths of Parth include he is very compassionate, very artistic, intuitive, gentle, wise, and musical. Some weaknesses include of he's very fearful of everything. I think in Parth's case, He's going to have a little bit of anxiety. Parth is overly trusting, which is kind of surprising, but after he gets into his new territory, his new home with Taryn, he realizes that he can trust humans. So he's overly trusting now, and he's easily made sad due to his compassionate heart. Now let's go ahead and transition to some more personality traits. 
that I didn't really know where to fit in. Parth is very shy and is often found hanging out in the woods, alone to either play his music, paint, or meditate. Despite being shy and awkward, Parth is friendly and very soft. Parth's friends are usually nothing like him, especially Caroline, who is loud and extroverted. Parth is very selfless and always wants to lend a hand where he can, he just doesn't always know how to due to his awkwardness. Like I mentioned before, Parth is a prodigy. If you haven't already guessed, it's in the music section. Parth has displayed musical interest, rhythm, and musical talent before he could even speak his first words. Parth learned how to play his very first instrument, which is a recorder, at age four. Parth can play almost any instrument, and if he hasn't learned one yet, he can pick it up in less than a month. Even though Parth starts out really awkward and having a hard time understanding how to react, he always has this way of forming emotional and close bonds with people, and kind of in short, he just has these really amazing emotional relationships with people. Parth has always been like an old soul. During his travels, he's been able to become quite wise and get a good understanding of how the world and people around him work. Parth is basically the perfect friend to talk to. He is never judgmental and always forgives people. And with all of that said, we can sum up our speak paint and little chat. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week. Bye-bye.